Hey, all right, so had another incident this morning and this is going along the lines of the video I had on here. I'm not gonna mention, uh, I did remove the video. I'm a fair man. Uh, the company that we're dealing with here has pleaded his case and said that this uh, method of building does not exist anymore. So being the fair man that I am, I took the video off. Um, but here's what's happening, guys, on my enclosures. As you can see, this was the double-sided tape that was used for the window track. Now, I thought I had all of this fixed, but apparently I didn't. So when I came down, this track was pushed out and I found the snake on the top of the enclosures. Luckily, this snake had not been out long. So uh, everything worked out. It uh, kind of let me know that, hey, dumbass, you didn't fix all of the problems. So what I'm gonna do on this video is, if any of you have this issue, whether it be from this company, I'm not gonna name names this time, I will let them redeem themselves. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the best way to adequately fix the problems where you're not gonna have any issues in the future. Uh, but as you can see, like I was referring to, um, the double-sided tape on these cheap ass plastic window tracks it's a very easy fix you're going to get the half inch number four screws from lowe's this little pack of what 50 i guess no 100 was five bucks and all it is is basically just a little phillips screw uh, now with these you are going to want a very small Phillips head uh, but basically you're just going to line that up in there you're going to stick it up in the track now you're going to want to countersink that just a little uh, to make sure that the window slides over the track now I will mention if any of y'all bought the earlier model enclosures from this company hopefully you had better luck than I did because even with everything mounted properly and securely I still can't get the window out of the track so apparently my six enclosures were the very first ones ever built by this company I'm not going to say their name at all to avoid any kind of conflict because as most of you know, I do not like conflict. So, so I'm not going to mention their name. <laughs> um, but that's going to be the best way to fix this, this issue. Uh, so if you do have an earlier model from said company that uh, didn't do their research very well and allowed some of these to actually be purchased, that is your best, best fix. Again, number four, half inch, Phillips head screws. Uh, I put four on the top track and uh, on the bottom. Like I said, I thought I had all this done, but apparently I did not. So I came down to this morning and had yet another snake loose in my basement, which has uh, pretty much solved any issue of me uh, wanting anybody to visit me that are not snake people. I can't get visitors. I don't understand why. So there you have it. There is your very simple fix on a very frustrating problem from a company that I will not name. Um, so hopefully that helps you out. Be sure to check this if you have uh, any kind of uh, track system on your enclosures. Be sure you check and make sure that it is firm 
I'm going to go ahead and finish this one up and double check the rest of these POS's and make sure that this will not be an issue in the future. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope this helps and we'll see you on the next video. Appreciate it.